The Mississippi Department of Corrections reportedly failed to protect those incarcerated, according to federal authorities. 12 News, Tia McKenzie is live with more of the Department of Justice's four-year investigation into MDOC. Tia? Melanie. Melanie, stories of cruel and unusual punishment and violations of basic human rights are outlined in the 60-page report by the DOJ. The U.S. Department of Justice announced some horrific findings in its investigation of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. In South Mississippi, for example, an individual told us that he was raped at knife point in a shower. Multiple gang members waited outside the shower area while he was assaulted to prevent others from interceding. The DOJ report notes that the prisons are dangerously understaffed, with as many as 50% of each of the three prisons' correctional officer positions left vacant. Today's report illustrates how systemic deficiencies and chronic underfunding of MDOC prison facilities can compound each other and amount to constitutional violations. Findings include sexual violence and assaults or fights every other day at Central Mississippi Correctional Facility, the Wilkinson County Correctional Facility, and the South Mississippi Correctional Facility. In particular, the gang violence and domination we discovered during our investigation is unacceptable. It should be corrections officers running prisons, not gangs. U.S. Attorney General Christian Clark says the three detention centers must see reform. We look forward to working with the state to institute comprehensive reforms to address the systemic issues that we have identified. We ultimately hope uh, to institute these reforms by way of a consent decree that will include some period of monitoring to ensure that those reforms are instituted effectively. In a statement in part, MDOC said, quote, MDOC has worked tirelessly to increase staff through additional compensation, the development of career ladders, streamlining the hiring process, job fairs, and implementing special duty pay. The DOJ emphasizes the fact that they look forward to working with the state to bring about a change. Live from the MDOC headquarters, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.